Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. In this video, we're going to continue in our subject widget slide design. And more specifically, we're going to create in this video the render widget, which will help us for our presentation for this project, for example, uh, if we want to present our renders through, through a slideshow. So I'm going to start by creating a widget and name this renders and double click it. So to start we need to put a solid image that will represent the background be behind this uh, uh, images. So I'm gonna grab a solid color and put the anchor on the full screen and zero all the offset corners. Next we're gonna use a scroll box and this is basically the tool that will help us uh, switch between the images and uh, our presentation uh, uh, purpose. So I'm gonna uh, scale this up. Uh, I'm gonna scale it to the value that we have uh, determined earlier. So I'm gonna put this, for example, 100, 700 to 1,700, and I'll put the size on the Y to 950, and make sure that it's centered. So I'm gonna use the anchor to position this in the middle, and let's. Uh, use our offsets uh, approximately on this side so if you look at this one okay so it's almost there in the middle that's okay for now okay so the scroll box basically uh, will be used to uh, switch between the images so we're gonna import these images and put it inside the, the scroll box directly by dragging them. And as you can see, they have been lined down on a vertical uh, uh, pattern. But basically, we're gonna need to uh, show these images on a horizontal uh, uh, orientation. So I'm gonna choose from the orientation by choosing the scroll box to represent these images on a horizontal uh, direction. Next, we're gonna resize the images to fit to the scroll box uh, size. So I'm gonna name each image by its number. Let's say, for example, this is number one. And I'm gonna adjust the size. And to change the size of this image, we're gonna go for the image size. And I'm gonna adjust the X to our uh, uh, scroll box uh, width, which is 1700. And name this also as number one so the next one will be named by two and also resize it to 1700 let's copy this value so we can make this much faster and as you can see now as we move through the images they are being uh, scrolled automatically this is going to be number four and 1700 number five and number six Okay, so even if we go through the images, you can see that they are being uh, uh, slided uh, through the scroll box. Okay, and this can be done basically using uh, a slider on the bottom, but we're gonna need to add just uh, extra buttons on the right and the left to help uh, to do this uh, in, a, in a better way. So I'm gonna drag uh, two buttons. The first one will be on the left side. I'm gonna use the anchor also to assign it on the left and I'm gonna drag the button a little bit on the position on this side and I'm gonna use an image of an arrow that I'm just I just downloaded from the internet so this is an arrow uh, slide left and I'm just gonna drag it to be here approximately okay so this bu button we're gonna call it uh, left to slide the images to the left and we're gonna copy and paste this and drag it to the other side and use the right side arrow and also uh, let's make sure that it's going on the same position oh, this is enough for now Okay, so now we have our button 
I'm gonna like name this as right. And don't forget we also need another button, that is the back button, which will help us go back to our previous menu. So I'm gonna just position it here and I'm gonna drag a text on top of it and call this back. Same way we did for the other one before. Okay. So now the next thing we're gonna do is that we need to activate our scroll box as a variable so it can be uh, ready to be activated or uh, we can enable uh, its uh, uh, response to these buttons and the graph and then I'm gonna uh, put the scroll visibility to collapsed so it, the image will fit to the whole uh, size of the scroll box I don't need to the slider I'm gonna basically use the buttons and we don't need actually uh, a mouse uh, wheel, we're just gonna use the buttons. So, so far, this is our way to do this on the designer layout. We're gonna move now to the graph. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need to create is a variable. I'm gonna call this variable scroll offset. And we're gonna make this variable type as a float to enable uh, um, the, f the slide between the images on this uh, variable. Next we're gonna create a node from the event stack. Uh, it's gonna be set scroll offset. We're gonna take the one from the uh, widget. If you don't see it just make sure you're taking the context. And then we're gonna create an f and trip to constant. And this will help us also uh, control the speed of the slide of the scroll box. We're gonna get our scroll box here as a variable connected to our target and we're gonna get another one here and then we're gonna get scroll offset not this one the other one get scroll offset as a widget sorry about that and connect the scroll box variable and also we're gonna need the scroll offset variable to connect it to our target and then make sure to connect the delta time to the interpretation speed so I'm just gonna double click here to drag this here okay next we're gonna uh, act, uh, add a function to the buttons so before that we're just gonna drag the scroll offset here as a variable and get two floats from this one one is a, a plus and the other one is a minus and then get the left button sorry uh, press on the left button and on the click just drag it here and drag from this set scroll offset variable then connect the left button to it the same thing for the right button on the click I'm gonna control W this and connect this to here now regarding uh, the float variable here this will represent the same width of the image and the scroll box so if we go back to our designer and choose one of these images you'll find that we have set up our image size width to 1700 so we're gonna add the value here on the plus float and the same thing on the minus also so we're gonna compile all of that and go back to our designer last thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna add the same uh, event graph to the back button so I'm gonna go to uh, one of our widget let's say for example um, the resolution option slide and we're gonna just gonna copy uh, the event graph this one and we're gonna add it here in our graph here also so when we hit make sure that we press on the, the button first and then choose on clicked and connect this to our event and then we're gonna go to the selection menu back again 
so it's basically already here okay so let's compile this now we can uh, start to see how things are looking uh, on this widget but before this we need also to add uh, a transition to uh, this uh, render from our selection menu so I'm gonna choose the renders button and go down to the event on clicked and then paste our uh, graph function sorry and connect this one here then we're gonna choose the renders widget slide from this one compile and let's uh, start and see how things gonna go so far so um, basically we should start to, to have a, a basic slide function from uh, each image okay okay so main menu and renders so we have reached it to our uh, render uh, images so currently seems like the, the buttons still need to be adjusted I guess we're gonna go back and check on our renders uh, graph so let's check the buttons uh, the first thing we have forgotten to add is uh, the hovered and the, the pressed uh, function so for the left button I'm gonna choose the image and assign it here and and this one I'm just gonna increase the dark uh, decrease the brightness of the button a little bit and also assign the same image here and once it's pressed it should get a little bit darker also same thing for the other button so rows for the image and assign it again a darker uh, color on the pressed and also a darker color let's compile this and on the graph we need to see yeah for the slide we need the speed so we did not set our speed here so I'm guessing let's start for example uh, by 500 and compile and let's test and see how things can go okay okay so the renders and let's expand this so as you can see now if you click uh, on the arrow to slide the images it's sliding up but it's a little bit slow which could cause uh, uncomfortable uh, feeling of the presentation so let's increase the speed a little bit and the delta time I'm gonna put this for example on a 1000 okay and compile this and go back to our uh, standalone a presentation and check if the speed is okay okay so now let's uh, test this again so if we press on the renders button we move to the widget uh, the renders widget and if we uh, use now the button to slide between the images I think now the speed is uh, comfortable enough to show the images and if we press on the back button we move to the uh, selection menu so this is basically how you set up uh, the render slideshow. Uh, this is one way actually to do it. There's gonna be uh, different ways to set up a blueprints to um, start uh, a slideshow for your images. But this is one of the basic and the easiest way to do this. So I hope this was uh, clear enough. And the next video we're gonna move to the cinematic buttons. Uh, so uh, if you have any question, please share it in the comments below and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you very much.